Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV in Grand Rapids, Michigan. And today I'm here to tell you about the 2018 Springdale 286 fifth wheel bunkhouse. This is a great family model. You can see the bunks here in the back. Nice open floor plan here as well. Let's start off here in the kitchen. So you'll see they do give you some extra prep space here on the side for your countertop, but they also have the sink top cover right here, which this serves then as your primary prep space. Uh, this sink top cover is cutting board quality, so if you wanna flip that over to use it as a cutting board, you can certainly do that. And then if we take it off, you'll see the large single bowl farm style sink there, which makes it very easy to wash and rinse your larger dishes. If you're using residential cookware, you can actually fit it here in the sink. You'll also notice the high rise pull out faucet there, again, just making things a little bit easier. Let's take a look at some of the storage underneath real quick. We'll start up front here, as you'll see there are a couple storage options. This one's really small, but you know, hey, anything they can give you is better than nothing. They could have left that totally blank. And then right here, you uh, will notice you have two good drawers. Coming back around to the side here, they do put a drawer right here underneath the overhang, which if it were me personally, I'd probably put my silverware there. But again, you know, whatever you want to stick in there, you can. Right underneath the sink here, you have a little cubby hole and then some additional storage underneath, which is large enough for a trash can. That way you don't have to hang it from the handle. Three burner Atwood cooktop here in the kitchen, the front one being high output. And then you will notice you have the oven right here underneath. And if you take a look underneath that, look at that storage. Nice big storage area down there so you have plenty of room for your pots and pans. Three full extension ball, uh, ball bearing drawers there. So you, again, if you want to put your silver over here instead of there, you can. Plus you have room for your spatulas, uh, serving spoons, things like that. If you take a look up top, you'll see you have LED lights here to make it nice and bright there. You'll also see an electrical outlet, so if you need to plug in a coffee maker, you can certainly do that. Uh, you actually have LED lights throughout the coach. If you take a look at the ceiling there, you can see that as well. Uh, those don't put out near the heat and use a fraction of the power. So if you do take this boondocking where you don't have full hookup or don't have electric, you will certainly uh, enjoy having the LED lights. Cooktop right there with the light and fan, microwave up above that with a cubby hole here. So if you want to store some items up there, you can, uh, you know, maybe a spot for cookbooks, things like that, or maybe just a knickknack, uh, you know, just having some decor up there, helping to make the place your own. For storage here, you can see you have some good pantry storage right there. This one does have a built-in shelf. If you have some taller items, you'll see this one does not have a shelf in there, so it's a little more customizable to what you want to put in there. And you can put your own storage rack system in there too if you want. Then right over here, you have your seven cubic foot fridge freezer combo. Uh, this is a pretty cool model. It is made by Dometic, but you'll see right here, the fins are covered by plastic, which is nice. Uh, it just helps keep things cool. You don't have to worry about damaging the fins or the fins damaging anything that you put in there. Uh, this unit does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switch over. You'll see you have storage up top. This is kind of deceiving because this actually goes all the way up to the ceiling there. Uh, so, you know, it actually is a larger storage area than what it initially looks like. A little bit taller to get to, you know, if I'm about six foot, I can reach the top of it. But if you're shorter, you may need a step stool for that one. Then right over here, uh, again, if you need this for pantry, you certainly can use it for that. Uh, myself, I'd probably use it for additional clothes storage for the kids. They do have their own closet here in the back. I'll show you in just a moment. Uh, but again, it's a versatile space, and they, that's why they just put shelves in there. That way you can uh, use it for whatever you want. So right back here are your two bunks, 300-pound weight capacity on here. This is what we call a double over double in the industry. They're nice and big, extra wide, so if you need to fit two kids per bunk, you can do that. Built-in ladder right here. You can just pull this guy out. That way it's nice and easy to climb in the top bunk so you don't have to worry about you know, uh, stepping here and having to hop up or anything like that. Privacy curtain on both the top and bottom there. Uh, you have LED lights in the top and bottom. You also notice you have a window here to let in some natural light. There is one on the bottom bunk as well there. And then a uh, vent fan, or a vent rather. So if you want to open that up, open some windows up, you can get a nice cross breeze. Electrical outlet right here in case you need to plug in any electronic devices. Mirrored wardrobe right back here. This is something else that I like. Uh, you know, when you have a bunk model, you have to have a place for kids' clothes, a designated place, and this is it. 
So you have the uh, hanging rod going across the top, additional storage right down there underneath. Across the way is the super slide. You can see the dinette right here. Um, you know, the, this dinette is nice because it does have enough room for four people to easily and comfortably sit here. And of course, big window here as well to let in that light during the day. The other cool thing about this is it does drop down into a bed. If you need that additional sleeping space or maybe you have a, a, another small one with you that's still sleeping like a pack and play, this is a great place where you can put them. Drop the table down. Uh, and then you can put the pack and play right on top here. The other cool thing about this table, take a look, it's movable. And, it, and the way it drops down, it basically swings down nice and low. So what you can actually do is you can take the table right over to the couch here. You can then drop it down and it becomes a coffee table. So uh, it just gives you a lot of versatility in use. As far as storage, if you take a look underneath here, on both sides you have the swing open door so it's nice and easy to access that storage. You don't have to worry about lifting up the cushion and getting in there. Right here, right by the dinette, in between the dinette and the couch, you will notice the dual USB port. So if you have a uh, you know, tablet, phone, something like that, you have to charge while you're sitting here, that is where you can do it. Storage up across the top, you have the nice decorative glass on there, has a really cool look to it. Of course, windows all throughout here. You do have windows on both sides of the slide, again, so it is letting in that natural light there. This right here is a tri-fold sofa. Extremely comfortable not only to sit on, but also to sleep on. If you have adult guests that are staying the night, this is probably the best spot for them to sleep. It'll be the most comfortable. The reason is because it uses the sofa cushions itself here uh, for the bed. It's easy to pull out. They provide you with this little loop right here, so you can literally just lift up, pull out, and the rest is really simple. Uh, the thing I like about that, as I mentioned, is again, it is comfortable. You don't have the, uh, you know, the little thin mattress or anything like that, or you don't have to worry about the jackknife where you know an adult can't comfortably sleep there. So I do like the trifold. If you take a look right up here. This is the entertainment center. TV right there in the center hooked up to your multimedia center. This is a radio, CD, and DVD player. So if you do want to watch a movie, you can pop it right in there and the whole family can sit around watch a movie on a rainy day. Along the side right here, you have some additional storage, basically spanning the whole height of the RV here. And then a couple more cabinets right above the TV as well as below. And then you have right here, a little bit of extra storage uh, and that little swing up drawer. The bathroom has two entrances and exits, one right here into the bedroom, the other one into your main living area. Down in the corner is your foot flush lever toilet. You can see you have plenty of leg room all the way around there. Right in front of that is your sink top and vanity there with additional storage underneath. You have electrical outlet right over here to the side and mirrored medicine cabinet up top. If we open up the Neo Angle shower, you'll see you have good shelf space in there, a hand wand, as well as a skylight that not only lets in a lot of natural light, also gives you additional headroom. Now right over here is a slide out. This slide goes into the bedroom, but the thing I like about it is it has a dedicated place right here for the bathroom. That way it kind of gives you a linen closet. You have a place to put your uh, bathroom accessories, towels, and things like that. The bedroom features a walk around queen bed, with some storage here underneath, and you'll see that is strut supported, so it's nice and easy to access. On both sides of the bed, you have mirrored wardrobe space. You can see the hanging rods going across there. Also have storage across the top, LED reading light underneath, nice shelf built into the headboard there with two electrical outlets. So if you have a CPAP machine you need to plug in or cell phones, you can do that. And you still have uh, space for your glass of water at night, because you also have some nightstands on either side of the bed. You'll see you have a pull-out drawer there, which is great for anything else you need. And then right over here behind me, this is really cool too, you have mirrored wardrobe spanning this entire length. I'll open it up here so you can see, but you have a hanging rod going the entire length of this, which gives you a lot of space. So you have the wardrobes on the side, this whole thing here too. You also see you have a vent right in the center, so if you want to open up a window, open that up, you can get a cross breeze coming through. This is uh, pre-wired for a second AC, so if you want to have one installed, uh, it is capable of having that. 
Then on the opposite wall is where your TV would go. You can see a little sticker on the wall there. That's where your TV would mount to. Hookups, of course, right up top. Let's talk about some of the features on the outside of the Springdale 286. We'll start right up here on the front cap. You'll notice that it's cut back right here on both sides. What that allows for is sharper turn radius because that way as you're backing up your truck, you're not gonna have a corner right here that's gonna hit the back and crush the back of your cab. So that's really nice if you are doing some tight maneuvering. You'll also notice you have a mirror right here up front so as you are backing your truck up, helps give you a little extra visibility so you can align your hitch with the kingpin. Let's shoot right here underneath. I'll open up this front compartment for you so you can take a look. You will see in here that it is a clean compartment. I, that's one of the things I really like about uh, Springdale, they keep everything nice and tidy in here. So that way you can definitely utilize this as storage. And then your battery box is right there off to the side. Of course, it is already vented for you. We come around to the campsite here. I'll open this up. There you are. You see you have one 30 pound propane tank on this side. You will have an additional one on the other side. So you have 60 pounds of propane on here. If you take a look up top, you see a nice big power awning there. Just touch of a button to roll that out. Same thing to have it go right back in. Uh, it does have an adjustable pitch on there as well as an LED light strip. So that way you can have light at night. You don't have to hang anything up there. The other thing I like about this awning and its placement, if you look, there's not any vents underneath the awning itself. So that way this is all good usable camp space. If you want to set up your chairs here, your tables here, you can easily do that. Then underneath the awning, you'll see two outside speakers. Those are controlled by the multimedia center I showed you inside. But again, that unit is Bluetooth capable. If you want an outside TV, it already has a mount installed right here for you electric hookup for the TV as well as your uh, cable outlet right there. And so that is where you would hook it up at. So you have some good outside storage on this coach. We'll start right over on this front one right here. You can see, uh, you know, again, good space. It's nice and long. If you have some larger items like your, uh, you know, executive camp chairs, things like that, this is wide enough. It'll still easily fit right in there. Making our way back a little bit further here, you have three aluminum steps to get into the coach with the easy grab handle. The grab handle will help ensure that you don't slip and fall. You also have the rubber strips on here. So if the steps are wet, that will help you get the grip and that in conjunction with the grab handle will make sure you have safe entry and exit from your Springdale. This coach does have the Arctic package on it. So it has fully enclosed and heated underbelly. Not only does that help keep some of the critters out, but also if you are camping when it's early in the spring or late in the fall, it might dip below those freezing temperatures. As long as the furnace is running, it's blowing that hot air underneath there, which will ensure that your tanks and lines and everything won't freeze up on you. You see right here, uh, this one does have the aluminum alloy rims. That way, uh, you know, they won't rust. It also helps prevent corrosion and they have nitrogen filled tires on there too. Come right back here. Not only did we have that large front pass through, but take a look at this. This is your storage underneath that rear bunk and it is a great extra storage area. It's still on the camp side, so it's very easy to access. Uh, again, it just really gives you good storage here. So I, I do like the setup that they have. You take a look underneath, right next to our uh, rear power stabilizer here is your propane quick connect. Now, if you have your own grill, you can certainly bring that. But if you look right back here, it does have the uh, arm there. So, you know, what I would probably do is just get the grill that mounts right onto here. So it's riding right back there for you when you need to use it, swing it out and around, plug it in. It'll feed off the 60 pounds of propane instead of having to, uh, you know, buy the, the small separate ones. Right here is your spare tire. It does have a cover on there. Hopefully you never have to use that. But if you do, you know, it's riding right back here and it'll be in good shape for you. And then right up top there in this center is a uh, backup camera prep. So, you know, this is a decent sized fifth wheel. If you do, uh, you know, want the backup camera, maybe you've never driven a fifth wheel before, it's your first one, you know, it's a great family model, then you can have that installed. It's a lot cheaper to have it do so because it's already prepped. But all right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is a 2018 Springdale 286 fifth wheel bunkhouse. If you're interested in this model and you like price and availability, go ahead and give us a call here at American RV, or you can take a look at our website, which is AmericanRV.com. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.